And good morning everybody. We're back out on Dartmoor. This time we've got the uh, the MLD Mountain Laurel Designs Solo Mid XL. And we are getting a little bit damp. There is a reason for that. I'm not going to go running home to be crying that the tent's leaking. The tent is leaking, but there is very good reason for that. And that is I haven't sealed it. I didn't get here until um, quite late yesterday. It was about seven o'clock and it was... To be fair, it wasn't raining at that moment. And I was half torn between shall I just get some sealant on as best I can before the rain starts to come down proper or shall we just see what happens if we don't seal it and it's kind of that route that we took but it's a good job that we've got the and an, uh, basically a bivy that I've put over the quilt this is the PhD Greenlandic uh, bivy thing it's uh, very roomy I went for uh, the large in this and the water does seem to be beading up on it there's not so much rain getting in at the moment but there, there has been quite a lot I think at the moment it's more of a a very heavy I think it's more of a very heavy rain and that doesn't seem to be coming through as much whereas I think most of the night it was a very light rain and that that was getting through we had to cover up quite a lot of stuff it was it's got quite wet down here i've got um the little one with me and i've put her under in here with me um, a bit like i did on that cheddar walk last november so, and unfortunately the forecast is to rain all day, non-stop. It's, um, you know, you put up with what you get. You know, maybe the forecast is wrong and maybe it will stop, but I've checked for every area around here and it is just non-stop rain until maybe like one o'clock tomorrow morning I had brought with me the the cricket because this and the cricket are pretty much identical apart from the door I'm just I won't you know I'm, I'm not doing it in the rain there's no point in getting cold and wet and miserable and what, what can I film in the rain properly so that's not worked out. The forecast for tomorrow is reasonable, but I would need to pack up and head back tomorrow. Uh, why am I here today? Or yesterday and until tomorrow? Well, I was hoping to get up to Scotland with Chris, um, but he's got commitment, so that didn't work out. Chris and I have penciled in next week, so I hope the traffic's not too bad heading up to Scotland next week. I think most people are coming south for the sun, not north for the cold, so hopefully it won't be too bad. So we have penciled in something for next week, and unfortunately, about three or four weeks ago, the sewage line flooded and I've got a pond and the pond has pumps 
and filter and the pumps and the filter have their own housing as it were connected would you imagine it to the sewage line so it's just easier for cleaning them unfortunately when the sewage line flooded it flooded the filter house um, or the little filtering area it's not very big but unfortunately it completely wiped out uh, my fish pumps because they're, they're dry pumps they work in a dry environment <laughs> not in a flooded sewage environment I think it was more rainwater so there wasn't any there was no crap in there or anything but it luckily um, but unfortunately it wiped out two, my two pumps so un unfortunately it wiped out the two pumps luckily um, the house insurance covered everything bar the excess which Wessex Water covered so at least it hasn't cost me anything but it just the time and annoyance you know of, of it happening and then uh, and I got to get someone out Wednesday to because it took me a while to get the insurance and the pumps and everything sorted out and then the plumber was busy but the earliest that he's available is Wednesday so it kind of meant that I needed to come here yesterday be here today and then head back tomorrow and like I said I was hoping I do today tomorrow and Wednesday but anyway we'll be back down here again at some point and we'll bring the we'll bring the cricket and the and the solo mid down here again or I'll take them to cheddar and do a, a comparison video on cheddar um, we'll kind of see how it goes we've got plenty of time but we now do have a solo mid XL and a cricket and I mean like, apart from you know a lot of water getting on me which and last thing and and to top all that off I brought the wrong ground sheet with me I brought a trail star ground sheet which barely fits in here and but luckily I always bring plenty of foam matting so I've kind of spread the foam matting around as well so you know it's it's fine you 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 don't come out here expect well unless you bring out a hilly book here and 4 GT like we did like last week or whenever it was when you have brought out you know <laughs> the palace with you you know you don't really expect to um, you're not expecting you know <laughs> a miracle comforts and everything so we're managing though I have to say it's it's pretty nice in here it's a single solo obviously so you've got less room and I can feel the back against me but you're going to feel that in many solo tents when it's when you've got there's a breeze out there it's about I haven't measured it but maybe like 15 plus mile an hour and normally someone wouldn't you know they'd have some breakfast and then they'd buckle off we're gonna just stay here and like I said I had planned on doing a comparison video and and I was gonna do something else outside and but we're restricted to barracks with this weather unfortunately so it is what it is I'm not gonna worry about it we're gonna have a cup of tea I don't know what we're gonna film um, we might not even do very much this time I don't know we'll kind of we'll kind of see hoping um, late mid late April to meet up with Sandy Wiltshire man so let's hope we get some nice weather for for doing something with with him down down here because I won't just stay if I if I get uh, Sandy down here, we definitely won't be just you know staying in one place, whatever the weather. But when it's me, I'm quite happy just chilling out, uh, you know, for a day. Then the other news, <laughs> as if you don't have enough news, the other news is we've got the, the MSI Windburn, and the reason why we've got 
the wind, but I didn't get it, or I didn't buy it. Uh, MSI were kind enough to send this to me. So I must admit, MSI has been very good. I think one of you um, mentioned something about Thermarest items to ask about. Just, if you did, just pop a reminder for me what it was. I will admit, I don't want to push my luck with them because uh, there's, there's a few bits that I want to ask for. You know, I know I know some one person <laughs> mentioned something. I think it's their Thermarest sleeping system or something. So, you know, that might be worth just uh, just reminding me, you know, what it was. I might even have not answered to it, and it might still be below in the comments where I can find it fairly easily. Because uh, sometimes I deliberately don't answer, and then I can just scroll through and I can see, oh yeah, I remember that, all, all that, yeah. Um, so sometimes if I don't answer, there is a reason for not answering. Most comments I answer, um, and like I said, there's one or two that sometimes I I won't answer because I, I want the information. Because when when I do answer a comment, it then disappears. Well, it doesn't disappear, but it's not so easy to find. So what happened was, is I um, before I started going up to Scotland, you see we're on 15, 13 minutes already. So. You know, even if we get one video out of this trip, we'll get something. Um, before going up to Scotland, I, I asked Chris what, you know, what was a good snow melting stove. And Chris mentioned the MSR reactor. Now, I did already have relations with Cascade Designs and MSR and such through Matt at Pro Agencies. He's like a distributor or something. I don't quite understand how it all works, but. Um, so, I contacted MSR, and I want to be fair, I'm not gonna just, because I, I, you know, if I get something, then I'll get it and I use it. I'm not just gonna get it and then flog it on or something. So, I, um, I wrote to MSR and I said, look, you know, I've got um, I've got a jet boil, which is kind of similar, but probably not as good at, at melting snow. You know, would you be willing to to let me have um, a reactor? And they they well, to be fair, they had to check with management. <laughs> they had to check with management. Uh, but they checked the management and then they, I, I, I passed muster, somehow, um, and then we got the reactor. But there was a fault with it that I didn't know anything about, which I'll tell you about that in a minute. I just want to, um, I'm going to get this onto board because I want my tea in a moment. So anyway, they asked did I want a wind burner, this. Or pocket rocket, uh, but I thought, well, if I'm am going up to Scotland and for snow melting, then you know probably this is the next best thing from the reactor, other than the jet boil. So maybe one day I'll do a video comparing <laughs> comparing two Tony two stoves, the wind burner and the and the jet boil. Compare them one day. So. Um, so yeah, so let me get this on to boil, and then I'll tell you what the fault was. So this works fine. It's not as... It's not as violent as the, uh, as the reactor. If you see any movements uh, down here, it's not me getting excited at the... 3% of female viewers I now have. Well, it's probably dropped now, dropped down to half of a percent, but it's uh, <laughs> it's the little one. Not that little one. <laughs> little Lizzie. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yes. 
I had an email from um, MSR and they said that the handle on the reactor uh, thing could occasionally uh, detach from the pot. I mean, I, I didn't have any problems uh, with it, but they, they said it can detach, you know, and would I desist from using it because they've done a recall. So, so I said, okay, that's fine. Uh, so, <laughs> so they sent me this, so I'm not going to complain about not going to complain about that. The trouble is though, all my foam matting, which I like to put my arm on, is now wet. It rained last time, and it all day, didn't it? All day in the in the Kieran it rained, although at least it was a bit more comfortable in that than this, but... And then it's rained. And then it's going to rain all day today. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see what this tent is like, you know, for living in. Like, as I said, it's not that bad, really. I think it's... Uh, I would still prefer... When I was setting this up last night, I was thinking... When I was getting in it and everything, I was thinking, well, I prefer this to the Durston, and I hadn't even, you know, used this very much. You know, I, I knew it was, because obviously the cricket is very, 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 very similar. The only difference is this has a door and the cricket doesn't. It has like a, a beak. But it will be interesting. Like I said, I was hoping to do a, a video comparison with this and the cricket today. But in initial thoughts, I probably prefer the cricket because it's more open, and and I like the openness. And I, I don't think the rain well the rain won't get in with the cricket because I had the cricket in Scotland and the rain didn't get in. Um, so I probably prefer the cricket because I'm more of a I'm more of a tap person. So from that point of view, but if you're more of a tent person and you like a zip, you've got a, a decent amount of room in here. I think you've got more room in here in in this porch area here you know than in the Durston personally you know you've got this I mean it's not it's not massive but you know Lassie Lassie was over there she's buggered off outside now but she spent the whole night under here so there was plenty of room for Lassie although to be fair in the Durston there is too if she goes behind the pole um, but you know so, but you know, there, there, there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room in here. You're not lacking. You're not lacking room. I've put my pack behind me. You know, I've put um, Lass's bed at the very end. There are some pretty big, chunky drops there. <laughs> Oh dear. It did half cross my mind to to maybe put the cricket over the top. Yeah. And I think I get something dropping on me occasionally because it's it's coming through here. I don't, I don't know, um, I was chatting with, with Chris and he's got the Duomid XL, that's in nylon, this is the poly, he's got the nylon Duomid XL, which is the same as my Duomid XL, and he's not sealed his, and somehow his hasn't leaked. That's, 
and that was partly another reason why I thought well I won't see all this just to see but yeah I, you definitely need to see all of them I'm not um, I'm not quite sure how he's managed to uh, you know get away with with not with not sealing his I think voodoo good later afternoon everybody we haven't left bad <laughs> we, we literally have just stayed here and we haven't moved we will have to go and get water um, sometime in the next hour or two so it's going to be unavoidable that we will have to go out into the rain at some point in the next hour or two because the rain was forecast to start yesterday at um, about seven or eight or nine o'clock in the evening which is about what it did and to go non-stop until we're showing about midnight this evening maybe one two o'clock in the morning it's not that often that you just get rain without any break at all but <clears throat> This is definitely one of those cases. So we've kept Lizzie basically in the sleeping bag um, with me and she's been fine. She's cosy and, and warm and she nipped out earlier on for tiddles. Like I said, when I go and get water, then she can go outside then for a minute as well. We've had tea. We've had a few nibbly sweet biscuit things, these sort of trek meal things and those Velveeta things. Not many, just had a couple. I'll have my dinner a bit later. Uh, the rain is still getting in. So I'm keeping this waterproof cover kind of like pulled up over me you know quite a bit there's quite a few drops of water on on top of the cover as I said I've not sealed the tent that's why it's dripping so much Norm normally I'd be in a shelter like this and I and I wouldn't use a bivy I would just simply be using my sleeping bag and and nothing else. But I knew that I might try this without sealing. And and obviously, you know, in the winter it's a good and in the winter it's a good idea to it's a good idea to have something with you, you know, just in case anyway. Especially in a, you know, in a lighter shelter like this. But yeah, I'm, I, I'm only using it because I didn't see all the tent. But it's kind of a good test for this to see how waterproof and what have you this is like. And it feels, it feels dry on the, on the inside, the top of the sleeping bag feels dry. You know, that's the inside and my hand is dry. So it's doing a good job. It's breathing fine. It's keeping me dry. So, you know, it's, <laughs> it's an interesting test from that point of view. It would have been nice if it could have just stopped long enough to get some sealant on and dry for an hour or two before another shower came through but so i don't know when i'm going to see all this now but maybe the next time i bring it out just just hope for some some dry weather when i pitch it and then just seal it quickly because it, it really won't take very long 
it's not a very big shelter, so it's, you know, it really wouldn't take long to seal it. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's not nice. This is really, this is a really, really miserable, really miserable day today. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to do something else, and then I'll we'll reconvene a bit later. I'm just using the GoPro audio, um, you know, for this as well. I think as I'm as I'm in here, and it's I'm not going to be doing anything outside today. I need to remember to I must remember to try and take a picture tomorrow before I collapse all of this because uh, I didn't I got here late it was dark when I was pitching oh. all right later <laughs>